talking about tuning today. Very elementary subject. Well, those of us who are uh, long acquainted with these instruments, string instruments I'm talking about, I probably have some idea of really how to do it. Uh, but there are certain things that uh, may not be apparent at first when we start to think about this. One is that the uh, the thing that that's working here is a screw and a gear working together, as you can see right there. All right? Well, that's a simple machine, and what that means is it has two operating modes: tightening and loosening. Right? So it tends to want to keep working in whichever mode you leave it in. For that reason, it's critical that you always tune from a lower pitch up to the correct pitch, never the other way. If you lower the string down from a pitch that's too high to the correct note and then proceed to play, a few minutes later that string's probably going to go flat on you. And the reason for that is that you've left it in the loosening mode and then you've stressed the system by hitting the strings, bending them, whatever else you might do. And of course, the response is going to be that the string's going to slip a little bit and go flat. Anyway, so always make sure that you tune from a lower pitch up to the correct one. I'll just do one string for you right here. Notice that my fingers are covering all the other strings when I do this, muting them. Well, that's another important thing. Uh, if you don't mute the other strings, they may vibrate sympathetically to the note that you're trying to tune, especially strings 6 and 5 will do that in response to notes played on the first two strings. Especially tuning strings one and two, you want to guard mute strings six and five when you're doing that. I hope that helps, and we'll see you next time.